I want to go ahead and talk about value. And value has everything to do with the range from really, really dark to really, really light. And we add value, we add this range from really dark to really light in our drawings to show where the light hits, where the shadow falls. And it starts to help us get ready to take our drawings to the next level. So, so far we've had three steps in our drawings. First, we got the major shapes. Second, we went ahead and added these kinds of extra lines to really finalize the whole thing. And now we're gonna add value. And so when we add value, what we're gonna do is look for places where there are shadows or things that are in shadow. So for example, um, in the lamp that I drew from yesterday, there's a little bit of like shadow underneath here because I can see through the lamp onto the other side. And that also means I can see a little bit over here and there's a bit of shadow wrapped around the inside of the top part. So it's a clear lamp for the most part, um, kind of translucent. But I can see some of the light bulb shining through and not everything else. And then the rest of this in the background is fairly dark. So I can go ahead and add some shadow here. Because the lamp is here, there's a little bit of darkness and shadow on this tin box on the side. And there's actually a little bit of shadow here too, kind of falling over the front. There's a really hard shadow on the side. And a little bit of a second shadow on this side because the lamp is so close here it's bouncing the light all over. So a little bit of a shadow from the base of the lamp as well. And let's go ahead and see what happens if I add a couple more parts to it. Okay, so you can see I've started to add in value by showing where the lightest spots are and the darkest spots. And in doing so, I'm setting up the illusion that this drawing is in my real space, that as I see the things that are closer, they're a little bit darker. Remember, we practice that with our lines, but the things that are getting a little bit further, they stay a little bit lighter as well. Now, there's a lot more I could do here um, but I really want to just give you a great starting place. So for this value drawing, what I'd like you to do is another new drawing of a couple things in space, things that are moving away from us. And then I want you to come and really make an effort to study where are the shadows, where does the light hit, what does that look like exactly as you uh, kind of set up your space or just draw from the space that surrounds you and what are you seeing? So when we practice this kind of drawing, it's really an exercise as much as anything else in drawing well, looking well, and being focused about what information our eye is taking in and then making an effort to try and put it on the page. Now, it's not going to be um, perfect like anything. It's part of our process. And so as you're taking these beginning steps, um, I would encourage you to don't throw anything away. Uh, don't crumble up your picture, but just stick with it. Keep at it. And I want to know where you're at. So then I can come back and when we revisit this again, we can take the next best steps we need to take to help you uh, continue to move forward with your work.